best nights of fights I have ever called. Alright, so we're back with another vlog. I'm taking you behind the scenes of Octagon 37 in Ostravar. Following the massive success of the behind the scenes that we did in Bruno, they've kindly invited me back to come and show you again what it's like at an Octagon event. Over on the Octagon UK and Ireland YouTube channel, I've seen a couple of comments on the Octagon hype saying, who's Josh, who is he? Who the fuck is that guy? Basically, I am the producer and accidental co-host of Octagon Hype, the Robin to Brian Lacey's Batman. Holy eggshell! I'm the one that makes him look good on the documentaries. Me and my team are the ones that bring to life Octagon Hype every two weeks. Now, my plane's boarding. Let's get into it. So, after a three-hour plane journey, I finally landed in Krakow and went to meet Brian at the ceremonial weigh-ins. Oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. I made it, I've made it to the, the venue. Man, that were a tight turnaround. I need to try and find Brian now. I've got him. Is that him? Is that the man? <laughs> Is that the man? He just absolutely made me. I can't swear. Yes, me! How you doing, man? Oh, the gorilla's back, look. <laughs> Have a look, look at this. So yesterday we did the uh, the Octagon Time press conference, which nearly 2,000 people bought tickets for tickets for to come and watch the announcements, the huge announcements, the big one which is the tournament next year, the welterweight contest for a million euros in prize money and then this crowd have turned out mainly for their main man David Cosma. I want you to listen to how mad they go when that guy walks out on stage. David Cosma! <laughs> Brian just touched on it, but David Cosma is taking on Kike Brito. David Cosma, time to victory in the cage is actually 14 minutes, whereas Kike Brito, his average time is just over one minute. Now, without a doubt, that is going to be an absolute explosive fight, but Cosma has defended his belt, I think, five or six times. He's a seasoned champion, so can Kike Brito do it? Nothing more to be done, nothing more to be said. Let's get into fight. Okay, so the time is 4 p.m. and we are heading over to the arena very, very soon. It's already dark outside over here and it's absolutely freezing. Let's go get Brian. Josh, <laughs> come on, mate. We're ready. What do you think, mate? I've gone for the for the for the old well, neutral look. Well, it's Christmas, the season of giving, Josh. So come with me. I got you a little something. No. <laughs> Mate, I can't wear that. <laughs> well, what are you going to wear with these? <laughs> Full kit, please. Guess what, right? So I just put a, an Instagram reel out. And I just saw Kike Brito like Kike it. Br <laughs> Kike Brito's coming on it. Try it on. Try it on. Like, it's like Superman. Yeah. <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness. It fits perfect. Oh my. Goodness. Here we go. Do I look good, yeah? Do I look good? <laughs> oh, unbelievable! So once Brian and I were done goofing around, we had to head down to the arena. <laughs> Did you hear that? VIP, yeah? Yeah, yeah. VIP, yeah. <laughs> Waiting for you at VIP section. As always, please come in. That's where we belong. Presenter of the year. That's where. It should be. What's this? Country manager. Whoa. Oh my God. And Germany's in economic strife, so um, blame this guy. <laughs> Whoa. Man, this is this is bigger than Bruno, right? This is bigger. This is bigger. The man. This is what it's about. The most coveted belt in Octagon, the welterweight championships in the main event. The way they do it is they've got to run to the middle and grab it first. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Mr. Brian Lewis's spot for the evening. 
Oh, oh, yeah. oh my goodness, the left comes in hard. <laughs> then then right. like, Whoa! Betty wins the fight. Ray. The world championship has changed hands once more. She is the new queen of Octagon. <laughs> That scared the shit out of me. When you screamed in the headphones, it was so loud. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how loud I am. Honestly, no one can tell you how good it is to be this close to the action. I implore anybody to go and watch a live MMA event, a live Octagon show. You will have the best time ever. on the map, ridiculous KO yeah. power. All right, so Pavel just called it before. He said he expects three or four knockouts tonight. This is the heavyweight battle. <laughs> they kind of can only go one way. We've had one knockout. Is this going to be the second? I said they're off. Oh! These are just exchanging bombs, man. This isn't going to last long, this. Oh, he's got, he's got him hurt, he's got him hurt. Big shots, he's got him in the clip. Oh, knee to the head. Oh, he's on wobbly legs. Body shots, body shots, another knee, two knees. He can't last it. He's fighting back. He's still going. How is this fight still going on? Ryan doesn't know if to stand up or sit down. Crazy knockout. Even the ref took one. The ref went in to break it up. The ref took one to the back of the head. That was crazy. That was crazy. One thing I keep forgetting this is the prelims. These are the prelim fights. This isn't even the main card. It's just been banger after banger. Alright, we're off. I've got a good feeling about this fight. I don't think it's going to last long. Oh. He's got him in tight control, he's got him in a head and arm choke. Ooh, groin stride. Ooh, we've just, we've just seen the playback, you can hear him. I don't think he's going to recover from this. He gets five minutes, but he is he's on the floor, he's, not in, he's in a bad, bad way. He's got his back, that's it, he's on his back. Ooh, if he could flatten him out, he's got him. Well to defend, he's doing well to defend. Big elbows from the top. What a fight! Oh. That's oh. What? The fight got called off on the bell. So I believe that was a ref stoppage at five minutes. So it's not a knockout, it's a TKO. So we're still at two knockouts. All right, so this is the last fight of the prelims: Paradisa versus Maya. Now, when these guys weighed in, they weighed in at 73 kilo. By the ceremonial weigh-ins, they were both weighing 10 kilos more. Imagine rehydrating 10 kilos in a few hours. This is mad. Ooh, Paradiso just kicked his elbow, kicked Maya's elbow. Ooh, right up there from Paradiso landed. Oh, and he's down! Again, the left, right. We've gone, we've gone crazy. Oh, we go again. Oh my goodness, another. That's three knockouts. Three knockouts in the prelims. <laughs> Eleven seconds. These are the prelims, right? Heavyweight havoc. That war between those two. This knockout. Richek with his knockout there. This is the prelims. All right, so we're on to the main event now. I feel like I've seen this guy fight at Bruno. I may be wrong. Uh, Mazouk. The Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy got submitted. That was his first ever loss in MMA, so now coming back 
Again, and this guy's a striker, so they're going to He's yeah. Oh, this is going to be a striking pass then, isn't it? Oh, big left hand from Matabao as well. The cheering from Mazouch now. Mazouch! Mazouch! <laughs> Matabao is doing a good job of controlling the distance. He keeps, like, teeping. Just to keep that distance, keep that gap. Oh, big right hand from Matabao! That's it, it's a knockout! Tonight, what is with this card? That's four knockouts. This could be the best night of fights you've ever seen. So Mazouk stepped in at last minute's notice uh, to fill the card because this guy actually missed weight. Now, I'm not saying it's my fault, but Mazouk had a clean record until I came to start watching Octagon. I hope I never meet him in person. That's right. It was 5-0, and oh, now he's lost his last two. I think I'll give you Mazouk's number. Maybe I'll give Mazouk your address. <laughs> <laughs> so Pavel, you called it, you said three or four knockouts, you've had four knockouts and it's oh three fights God. to go. <laughs> this night is like super amazing. Alright, so it's El Chapo is up next against Melillo. Ooh, Chapo just took a big overhand right there. Ate it though, like he doesn't, he doesn't look phased at all. Ooh, that overhand right's caught him there, it's caught Chapo. Oh, they're going shot for shot. Oh, he's down! How did he... Oh, he's down again! That's it, that's a finish! Wow! That was a crazy fight. They went shot for shot for shot. One of the best nights of fights I have ever called the finishes. The battles, the wars, even the close ones. Yeah. Such a high level. I, I cut up five knockouts. Five knockouts. And not just knockouts, starching the dude. <laughs> it's the co main event, Sadakidze versus Dakota. The title fight. It's a vacant title, so somebody is going home with the silverware. is actually undefeated as a pro, so this is a big night, undefeated, championship fight. Okay, so Sana Kidze is on a five fight winning streak, but he had his baby, I think two weeks ago, so congratulations on becoming a new dad. Let's see if you can take that, that gold belt home to your new family. Ooh, big left, oh, and he's dropped him! Dakota dropped in there, right in front of us. Ooh, good low kick there from uh, Dakota. Oh, no way! Santa Kidze just dropped him in like, with the right hook. That's both of them being dropped already, like three minutes into the fight. Again, Dakota's got his guard back. Big shots from the top. What is this fight? This is absolutely the craziest night of fights I've ever, ever seen. So after a tight first round, the Santa Kidze versus Dakota fight went the distance. Mate Santa Kidze showed his great determination and overall ability as a well-rounded mixed martial artist, proving that he was the rightful champion. So Santa Kidze gets the win and he, uh, he's taking the gold home to his new family. Congratulations. Uh, Impeccable fight. I called Mate Sanakidze's first ever pro fight. I've now just called his world title fight his first ever that. Crazy. Yeah. Big shots. 
second round. Cosmo. Oh. Oh, back to his feet though. Cosmo did get the takedown. Oh, a big right hand for Britta. This is it, I think. Oh, he's back on his feet. It's Cardi Cosmo survived that. How has he survived that? Oh, big elbow from Britta. How is he surviving this? Brito's on top. Cosmo's going for an armbar. Is he? He's going for an armbar attempt. He's got it! Oh, I've got a guillotine. He's on for a guillotine. I'm in guillotine. He's got out of it! Cosmo's on top. Oh, up kick. Oh, he's been hit again. Cosmo is out on his feet. Brito's hit him again. Cosmo is not looking good. Ten seconds left. He's got to survive ten seconds. Hands up, hands up, Cosmo. He's still fighting back. That is the craziest round of fighting I've ever seen. I've got no idea how Cosmo survived that. Brito's looking tired now. Oh. Take down attempt from Cosma. Can he finish it? Can he secure it? Yeah, he's going down. Go on, Cosma. This man. Oh, spinning out. Back elbow there from Brito. Oh. He's back on his feet. Cosma's back on top now. He's on wobbly legs though. Cos Cosma does not look good. There are big shots from Brito. The ref needs to stop this. Come on, ref. That's it, it's off, it's done. Brito has won. Like the arena, it's practically silent. This is this is his hometown. Nobody wanted to see him lose his title like that. But what a, a heroic performance. Congratulations to Brito. Outstanding performance as well. Unbelievable. Insane. Insane. Mind blowing. Tune into the next one. Subscribe, like, see you on Octagon Hype.